In this video, we're gonna talk about a great new feature in Microsoft Teams where you can take action on any chat message by creating a task out of it. This is helpful whenever you see a message that you need to follow up on, or if you commit to something via chat and you need to remember later on that you volunteered to do something. The ability to create a task is now available anywhere that you have access to chats in the Teams app or even on the web. One of the most natural places to make new tasks, in my opinion, is during a meeting. So we're in a normal team meeting here and you can see that Alex has posted in the chat asking if somebody can make some changes to a document that we're reviewing during this meeting. Megan can just go here and hover over the message and you see the reactions pop up here at the top, but you might not have paid much attention to the dot dot dots at the end of the pop up before. If you click on this button right here, then you'll see this um, ability to, to translate a message, mark it as unread so you can read it later, things like that. But down at the bottom, we have this more actions fly out. If we go down here, this is where the messaging extensions live within Microsoft Teams chats. There's actually a bunch of Teams apps that have already taken advantage of this capability and give you some uh, quick tasks that you can do off of a chat message. The one that we're gonna use here is the one named create task. So if Megan clicks on create a task right here, this little window pops up where she can add some details in. So in this little window, Megan can adjust the title, the description, as well as she can pick what Microsoft to-do list this is going to land in, give it a priority, and even set a due date for the task. So we're gonna change this chat a little bit to make it a little bit more readable here. and we'll make this an important priority. We'll give it a due date as well. After she's added some details and um, given it a priority, things like that, you can click add task. Now she'll see that this task has been added to Microsoft to do, so she can add it to her my day and actually have a chance of getting the thing done that Alex asked to do that she volunteered for. It's probably a good idea too for her to either give a thumbs up to this message or to reply and let Alex know that, um, that she's gonna handle it. So there's task creation inside of meetings, but you can also create tasks inside of any regular chat area of Microsoft Teams, as well as within uh, channel messages too. So if we're in a normal chat here with Pradeep, I can just hover over this and again, the reactions come up. I can click the dot, dot, dots, and I can create a task off of this everyday one-on-one -on -one chat message. If I go over here to Teams and hop into a channel, again, this message from Miriam, I can click the dot, dot, dots, go to more actions, and I can create a task off of a channel message as well. I'm the kind of person that does best when I'm working from a to-do list, so I'm definitely on board with this new feature. Admittedly, I probably won't be disciplined enough to remember it in everyday chats, but I could see actually using it in meetings since I give most of my attention to focusing on what's going on in the meeting than just casually checking chats when I have time. The biggest hurdle for me is probably remembering that I can do this at all. Uh, the message extensions are really cool, but it's kind of like Siri for me, where it kind of fades in the background and then I forget when it's there where it would be really helpful. It'd be really cool if Teams would kind of nudge me if it detected that like someone is asking me to do something or um, that there's something actionable within that chat message. Let me know in the comments below if this is something you think you'll use. Where do you think you would use it the most within Microsoft Teams? I'm pretty excited to share the next thing that I've discovered with messaging extensions, but it's currently still in public preview. So make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss that one later on. Thanks for watching.